Happy New Year everyone and welcome 2018. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for the great success you've showed in um, supporting me this last year and I also wanted to wish you the happiest, prosperous, love-filled, healthy, joyful New Year to come. I so appreciate you liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel and I just wanted to make sure I don't forget to tell you that and I thought I'd start the new year by letting you know how much I appreciate you. With that said, Happy New Year and let's get started and see what's coming for this year. Hello Aries, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your January 2018 mini tarot reading. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a shuffle here. We're going to do a little general um, January reading for you, but then I thought when we were done we could pull three cards to see what maybe the energy for the year is going to be or what might be coming for you. So let's take a shuffle here and see what's happening in January. And please remember to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. And here, let's take a look. See what we have got. Oops, here we go. All righty. Okay, wow. Looks like there's a lot of you going to be standing up for yourself in such a good way. It says you have learned a lot of patience, you have a lot of wisdom, you've learned what you need to say to feel really good about in a diplomatic way saying things rather than stamping your fiery foot and saying, now this is the way I want it. And I'm not saying that's for everybody, but those of you that have an idea, Aries, you're such pioneers that it's hard when people don't understand what you're explaining for you. But it says you're going to be able to do that a lot better this year. Victory, I have the Ace of Swords here for you. Swift changes are coming for you in a very, very good way, very quickly. Uh, the Chariot, one who achieves greatness. It says those of you that have worked hard this year, you may have a lot of recognition, whether that be money, promotion, whatever. Even if it's just working in a fan, not even if it's just, if it includes if you were working together on a relationship, on a family, on something like that, kudos to you because it's going to do extremely well. It says what you have to be a little more patient though. What your way, don't hurry this stuff. It's coming quickly. This doesn't even make sense to me. It says here I says it's coming quickly. I got it. What you've been waiting for, don't be foolish and make the wrong choice now. It says you've worked really hard. You may have more than one offer for some of you, especially like for work. Maybe there's a promotion. Maybe there's a transfer. I don't know. This is pretty clear now. Make sure that you make it about you. Those, If you're working on a relationship, again, if it's not working for you, do a little more work before you decide what you're going to do. But it looks like a lot of you that have put changes into, uh, into practice or... Um, into a, you know, into a way of doing things, it's going to pay off for you. This is, I feel this month is going to be real interesting for you in a good way. It says, hold on to uh, what you've asked for and what you've, what you've wanted because it is going to happen for a lot of you. It says it's so clear for you that you see now, okay, you're appreciated. And there's something about when someone's appreciated, their heart changes a little bit, whether again, that be relationship, work, um, even a friendship. There's going to be improvements in that area for you. It says a lot of commotion around you. No quiet time. Make sure you, <coughs> excuse me, get a little quiet time for yourself because you've deserved it. You've worked hard for it. Wheel of Fortune says things are going to be much better for you this year and this month. And I specifically heard this year, so those of you that have waited for stuff, what you've learned for maybe you're graduating from school this year, it's going to be pretty good for you. And with that said, let's see what else we have. <coughs> excuse me. It says your wants, your wishes, your daydreams, all of your work, a lot of that's going to pay off for you. It says that um, don't worry about what other people are doing. Okay, pay attention to what you're doing. Draw on your strength. If things weren't working just perfect for you and you had an idea, try to represent it again. Because I feel people are willing to hear it now. <coughs> Sorry. I have this dry allergy cough. Um... Ace of Wands is perfect time for new beginnings for you. You so deserve all that you've worked for. It says there's going to be gain in the midst of change. Things are going to still go down, up and down a little bit, so don't give up on that. This is going to be a good month for you um, to present things. Even if you tried to before and people weren't willing to listen, they are now, a lot of them. Okay, and again, that's whether it be work or love or friendship. So don't give up. Maybe give it another chance. So let's do those three cards and see what the year might be bringing for for you, Aries. Here we go. Let's do a quick cut. Let's see here. What do we have? Oop, we have the Ten of Wands, 
the Knight of Swords, oh, and the Knight of Cups. So what I'm feeling here is the hard work that you've already done is going to pay off for you. It says to try to let go of any guilt that you might be carrying because it isn't serving you. If it's not serving you, try to let it go. Quick changes are going to be coming. Okay, and there may be people uh, spreading gossip around. Don't get into that. I don't know what that means at work. I really feel that's at work. Don't get into the office politics, if you would. It just says, do what you're doing. Keep, keep the work that you've been doing. I feel recognition for some of you this year. And I mean, it's big recognition. It's pretty cool. It says you're going to learn a lot. You're going to put a lot of what you've learned into practice for yourself. And I think it's going to be a good year for you, Aries. With that said, thank you so much for dropping in. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. And we'll see you again next month, Aries.